For the most part, this was actually a pretty lackluster year for cell phones. Starting off, you had the uh, Samsung Galaxy Fold, which they tried to launch preemptively in order to claim that they were the first to launch a folding cell phone, which turned out to be a complete failure. And then they took it back and they relaunched it only for all of the testers on YouTube to show that the thing was actually a piece of garbage that was so badly designed that you could scratch it with your fingernail. I guess the thing that they had to learn the hard way was the glass don't fold. So, very simply put, um, I was looking online and they started, they've already started the rumors. Like, this is all of these dudes on YouTube. And all of they do is every single leak and every single suggestion that they hear in the industry, even from somebody else, they just come out and they just start talking about it in order to bolster their YouTube channel. So I figured, hey, you know what? I'll do the same exact thing. So I was looking on Yahoo and a couple hours ago, somebody posted this, uh, this um, article showing that it's possible that the iPhone 12 design has already been leaked. So basically what I've already heard is that they plan on revisiting the iPhone 4's design where they had the uh, flat band antenna around the edges instead of the curves. So um, they are saying that definitely for the iPhone 12, they're going to have hidden FaceTime cameras to the point where they're going to make the uh, camera so small that they're going to actually be able to hide it in the bezel. Now, if they can pull that off, that'll be absolutely amazing because I can't see them doing this any other way. The problem with these screens is these screens have such a high resolution and uh, backlighting with LCD that I don't really think that there's a way that they can really put the camera right behind the display. Samsung, for instance, tried to put a fingerprint reader right behind the display and they use ultrasound and uh, it's not working very well. Like I've heard that it's extremely inconsistent and it just doesn't work that well. So once again, they're always doing their best to one up Apple and they don't test their products very well. So um, the Galaxy Fold is their latest in a series of failures. I, I guess I could go back to say the Galaxy 7, which was exploding out of people's pockets and the airlines had to say, yeah, you're not allowed to bring that shit on the plane. So um, if this is true, the iPhone 12 is going to keep the three camera design. And that means that you'll still have your ultra wide and you'll still have your uh, high megapixel shooter and you'll still have your telephoto lens. So, you know, if they're, if they're going to make the 12 look like this and they're going to make all of these future phones look like this until some new technology can come out where one camera lens can handle all these jobs, which I really doubt that'll be possible at this point. That would be really cool. But um, my problem, once again, after uh, covering the uh, iPhone 11 launch, is that they did not offer one terabyte of storage. But uh, I really believe that by next year, they should be able to do that because a one terabyte SSD chip or SD chip, I should say, micro SD chip, is about $450 right now. So there's a lot of people, when I complain that, I say, okay, yeah, they didn't give us one terabyte. A lot of these people jump up and they're like, oh, yeah, well, you should just buy a Galaxy Note 10 and then you get the $450 one terabyte chip and you put that in there and then you'll have one terabyte. But what they don't seem to understand is I'm not leaving iOS because I love iOS and I also love iMovie. And... Android phones have nothing compared to iMovie. They don't have the stamina to record video in the way that I record. I've never seen somebody who goes on YouTube recording a video for more than a couple of hours. In fact, I've never seen an Android phone record as much video as I have on an iPhone. And that's one of the reasons why I specifically use iPhone for my uh, YouTube because um, I understand how well these things are designed. I mean, I can record for almost two hours with just the internal battery in 4K, but I carry a Mophie with me. In fact, where is it? I carry this 12X Mophie right here, and this bad boy right here would charge my phone four times. So basically with this, I can record over 10 hours worth of video with this big flat lithium battery. And um, yeah, I could plug this to an Android and do the same thing. The problem is their processors overheat. And when they do, they end up turning off. I haven't had that problem with iPhone um, 
with, with this new iPhone. I haven't had that problem. I only had that problem with, say, the iPhone X. And the only time I had that problem was when I was in South Korea because it was overheating. It was 105 degrees while I was shooting videos out there. So, um, no, I'm not, in, I don't want anything from Android to tell you the God's honest truth. I don't want Samsung Galaxy 10 Note. I don't want OnePlus 7. I don't want Oppo Find Out. I don't want none of that. If I wanted it, I'd buy it, but I don't. And that's just the way it is. So, um, if this is going to be the new design of the iPhone, I'm pretty sure they're going to knock it out of the park with this. The only thing that I do think is an issue is the fact that when you use an iPhone, Apple has specifically designed their products so that when you use their products, everybody knows you're using their products. People insult the notch on the iPhone XS and the iPhone 11, but that notch from a distance lets people pretty much know that you're using an iPhone. There's been a number of these Android cloners and copycats who have notches on their phones, even though they talked all this shit about there being a notch, but they have notches on their phones too. And the thing about it is just from the size of their notches, you can tell at a distance whether or not it's an iPhone. All of these Chinese-made copycat iPhone cloners have done their best to make their products look as much like iPhone as they can in order to bolster the self-esteem of all of these impoverished Southeast Asians who can't afford to buy the highest-end iPhone. Well, considering the fact most of them make less than seven or $8,000 US a year, and these phones are coming out costing 1000 this phone right here was $1600 with tax $1567 for a 512 gigabyte and if there is a 1 terabyte my guess is going to be $2000 the vast majority of these people can't afford this stuff so what do they do they go buy cherry mobile they go buy oppo find x they go buy huawei and all that garbage so listen there's one for everybody. It's like, you know, that's the beauty of the Android market. Everybody's got a phone. Where I think they're going wrong is trying to release these phones every single year. That business model works for Apple, but I truly do not believe that that business model works as well for Android phones. And there's a simple reason. When you have Android phones, Android phones are constantly trying to one-up Apple. Oh, oh, Apple's got a 12-megapixel camera? Yeah, well, bitch, we got 13. We got 13 megapixels. They're always doing their best to talk louder. They're always trying to shout that they've got a little bit more. Apple has a 4,500 milliampere battery. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, well, guess what? We got 5,000. Oh, you've got uh, four megabytes? Uh, you, you got four megabyte cache? Yeah, well, we got 10. Oh, oh, you got a, uh, oh, what, what do you have? How much RAM you got? You got four gigabytes of RAM? Yeah, well, we got 12. And and these guys are constantly trying to what up Apple. Meanwhile, Apple continues to make their product with impeccable build quality, unlike this piece of shit Samsung Galaxy Fold, where if you touch it with your fingernails, your fingernails, the shit fucking scratches. Just your fingernails. That's ridiculous. And they want 2,000 plus for that? That's a shame. So, um, you know, they're constantly trying to one-up Apple, and in doing so, they invent stuff like the Oppo Find X and pop-up selfie cams and uh, and uh, OnePlus 7 with pop-up selfie cam. And then, they, oh, oh, well, you got 12 gigabytes of RAM? Well, I got 15. So the problem ultimately is these guys are constantly trying to one-up each other, so they end up putting out so many features for that last model year that the next model year, there's almost nothing new that they can offer you. So the best that they can do is a new Snapdragon process, and that's about it. Meanwhile, they've understood more and more why Apple's doing so well. They started taking headphone jacks out of their own phones. They started making their phones sealed so that you can't remove the battery. Like there was a recently a story that says that Apple was um, warning people if the screen on their phone has been removed and it's not a genuine screen. And somebody's like, oh, yeah, man, I can't stand. In fact, where, where is that story? That's on tech spot up here. Oh, yeah, I can't stand the fact that Apple controls their product. I can't stand it. Well, guess what? Put yourself in the shoes of a person who, let's say, buys a used iPhone. If you're buying a used iPhone, wouldn't you want to be 100% certain that all of the hardware that's in your phone is genuine? How do I know that one of these jerk-offs didn't buy this thing, put a fake, cheap, Chinese-made battery in there, 
or fake display that's not the Apple Retina display. Here's that. Here's the story right there. iPhone 11 will warn users if they install non-genuine display after repair. It's like if I'm buying a used phone because I couldn't afford it when it's $1,600 and I wait and I buy it later, I would want to know if somebody has tampered with that product. But these guys with all their Android fanboy shit talking, all they do is, oh, yeah, oh, my God. In fact, let's read the comments because the comments are great. It's like, oh, um, since they can't stop for is, is, it's us, dickhead, from replacing our own screen, they just going to annoy the ever-living shit out of us. Okay. So to which I reply, anyone who doesn't like it can take their money and go buy one of them shit Android phones. And I didn't say shit because these people have these sensors on this goddamn website. And the sensors will either block it out or they'll, you know, reduce the comment. They'll, like, uh, erase it. Apple is determined to control their user experience, their hardware, their software, their firmware, and their resale value. I, for one, am happy with Apple's user experience for exactly that reason. I know exactly what to expect, even if I purchase a used device for whatever reason. The last thing I'd want is a used iPhone XS Max with a fake battery or fake screen being marketed as new. And that's just how it is. Once again, if you don't like it, take your money over to Samsung and hand them that $2,800 for that piece of shit that you're going to scratch up with your own fingernails just when you're trying to touch the screen. And that's what it is. Now, I'm going to tell you the honest, the, what is it called? The uh, uh, honest truth about tech. I'm going to tell you, if you're scratching this piece of shit with your fingernails, yeah, there's a problem. So the next guy, somebody replied to me. Somebody replied to me. Uh, who replied to me? They say, yeah, well, I'm glad theirs is so aptly put. It is everyone else's technology and hardware license to Apple. They don't make a damn thing. They're Unix clone. Oh, and now you're talking all this shit. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. The average user doesn't care. Unix? What are you talking about? What? What is this, the 90s? You moron. And I can say it here, but I can't say it on the site because those goddamn senses. Nocturne, you're an idiot. So that is about it. Just for reference, LG is the LCD manufacturer. Hey, guess what, jerk off? Michelin makes tires for all types of cars. But if they make it for the Bugatti, and then they also make it for the Koenigsegg, guess what? The Bugatti goes to 304 miles an hour, and that piece of shit Koenigsegg sucks. So just because you make a part for it doesn't mean that you're using it as well as I'm using it. Moron. So anyway... The screen and battery aren't fake, though. Chances are they are from the same Chinese factory that makes the batteries Apple uses. The only difference is they weren't installed by the someone from Apple. The battery for a phone like the iPhone is a very specific physical size. It's not like you can just put any random generic in there. Well, that that's absolutely true, you know, because Apple has, you know, quality control. Unlike Samsung, who who's putting out phones that you're scratching with your goddamn fingernails. Um, and I said, somebody, oh, yeah, well, anyone who doesn't like it can take their money and go buy App Android. And then he says, yeah, but it's not their hardware. First sale doctrine applies. Guess what? Somebody didn't read the end user license agreement. When you buy one of these things, the firmware, the software, and pretty much everything that has to do with the internal hardware, you're not allowed to tamper with that shit. Whether it's because of warranty purposes or whatever. You're not, this guy right here, this other jackass, that I, now I can say it because now there's nothing you can do about it. So anyway, it would appear in the context of this statement that Apple management now regard their customers as hostages. I ain't no fucking hostage. Guess what, jerk? I got an Apple card with $10,000 on it. And if I really want, I can use that card because it's not an Apple card. It's a Goldman Sachs card. I can go buy anything I want up until $10,000. In fact, they said you're allowed to go over the unit. The, uh... The, uh, you, the actual limit, you're actually allowed to go over. So if I want to buy something that's $11,000, all I got to do is pay it back before they jack up that interest rate from 12.9 to 20 or something. So no, we're not hostages. People who choose Apple like the build quality and they love Apple products. And that's just it. So you can be as upset as you want that people keep lining up to buy Apple. Meanwhile, you're lining up to buy them pieces of garbage that you're scratching with your own fingernails. And that's really the truth. I can't make that up. But that's that's what we're dealing with. It, apparently, someday people woke up and they decided that they needed to insult other users for their spending habits. I don't know what that's about. I think it has something to do with all this debt shaming that's going around with like Dave Ramsey and Chris Hogan and uh, Susie Orman or something. I don't know what it is. 
but it's like, I'm only going to buy the best product. If Apple ever makes products that I don't like anymore, I'm going to take my money elsewhere. It's just that simple. It's called the free market. But you don't understand that because you raise these goddamn socialist states in Europe and then you come over here to America with that bullshit and then you're up there trying to change our laws. And that's the reason why Trump is in office now is because we're doing that protectionist shit. We're not playing those games. We'll tell you real quick to take your tea and dump it in the ocean. We don't care, King George. So um, that's just basically where we are. So um, that's that's my whole that's my whole spiel. You know what? These Android users are sad. It's like I, I go on these YouTube channels you almost never see Apple phone users on these Android phone channels talking as much smack as you see as these Android users on iPhone channels talking smack. You just don't see it. You don't see it. You know why? Because Apple users, they're happy with their product and they don't give a fuck. Grandpa, grandma use their iPad. They're touching it with their old arthritic hands. You think grandpa and grandma are worried about Unix running on motherfucking uh, Galaxy 10? They're not worried. They don't care. They, they don't want to, like, if, if you tried to ask them about that, be like, hey, Grandma, Grandpa, did you know that Apple's LCD screens are made by Android? They'd be like, so fucking what? Just get my social security check so I can go to the casino. They don't care. And that's the problem. You people are worried about what somebody else is doing. Next thing you know, you're going to try to tell me that I shouldn't buy a, a specific type of underwear or something and that I, I should have to wear sweaty balls or something. It's like, what the hell's wrong with you? It's like you people are ridiculous. And that's the reason why you continue to fall behind. And you got Samsung releasing garbage that's failing like instantaneously. You touch it and your fingernails just dig right through it. Where, where is that? Where's that story? Where's that story? Galaxy Fold breaks in 27 hours. How about that? Let's look at that story real quick. Let's look at that story. Galaxy Fold breaks in 27 hours. Where is it? Where's that story? Where's that story? What is that story? See, this is what you get. This is what you get. You're putting out garbage. That's what you're doing. Oh, yeah, I got a folding cell phone. But don't touch it. Don't touch it. Pixels turning into flowers and shit in the background. Look at that. Look at that. And they want how much for this? That's why I like I like watching Talos of Tech and even Painfully Honest Truth about Tech. I like watching their channels because um, even though I understand what they're doing is they're spamming us with information about unreleased shit that we have no idea whether or not it'll be released or not. It's like at least they're fun to watch. They're entertaining. It's like even when I go onto computer forums. Now, here I am. Look at this motherfucker. You see this computer? I spent about $5,000 building up this computer. This is a Core i9 2080 Ti Afterworld 3. Uh, FTW3 with the liquid cooling. You can't even hear it. It's so silent. Listen to that. You can't even hear that shit. Listen. No hard drives. All that shit is SSD. Brand new SSDs from Crucial. Got the Alienware 34 inch monitor. You got to back up from this thing before you get a suntan. And, and all this Alienware stuff. Plus, I got the headphones right here. And then I spent money on this one right here, which I'm going to rebuild because I'm, I'm going to use this one specifically with hard drives to store 4K video because 4K videos, 8K videos, they're huge. And I'm going to use this one right here just for gaming and nothing else just for gaming. This one's just going to store my videos. But meanwhile, you go onto these forums and everybody's insulting Alienware. It's like, well, maybe what you're insulting is the fact that these computers cost like, what, twice or three times as much as your computers. It's like, why are you trying to live out of people's pockets? It's like, don't insult people because they spend their money in the way that they want to. It's like insulting people uh, for, um, you know, I mean, the cell phone thing is just the most recent thing. But, uh, I mean, Jesus Christ, they're, they, they're talking bad about people who use consoles to play games. They're talking bad about people who, um, you know, just how you spend your money. It's like, oh, why'd you buy that? You should have bought a 5G phone. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? There's no 5G out there yet. That's going to take years to put in. These people are crazy. And then the thing about it is I'm here ready to fight them because what I see them, it's like I just want to fight them. It's, it's, it's fun. It's really fun because a lot of them come to my channel trolling and shit. Oh, yeah, those stupid SRT products. Those things aren't going to last 50 days, man. Like, yeah, okay. And your Toyota camera is going to outdo me, I'm sure. But uh, that's just what it is. So, you know, th it, it hasn't been a very, very... 
exciting year for cell phones. I would have been way more excited about the iPhone and been far more jubilant if it had given me one terabyte, but I guess that's coming next year. Right about now, one terabyte of SSD is about a hundred bucks. So my guess is it's coming next year with the 12. And, um, you know, I just want more than 512 so I have more space to store my uh, videos because I'm planning to go to Singapore. I'm planning to go to Vietnam, Cambodia, and possibly Maldives. I don't know what the timeline is going to be, but I'm thinking Singapore is going to be next. And I want to be able to make my vacation vlogs. And that's basically it. That's all I really had to talk about. So that's the iPhone 12 for you. That's the Galaxy Fail. The Galaxy Fail that failed in 27 hours. Um, it failed. And uh, don't scratch it with your fingernails because it'll fail. And um, just be happy the battery didn't explode in your pocket.